What's going on guys, CTA Prime back here again with the Nvidia Shield Android TV and today I'm going to be testing out 10 PSP games. I'm going to be using the standalone version of PPSSPP. In the last video I uploaded, I tested out 10 GameCube games running in Dolphin on the Shield TV. I've had a lot of people asking me to make a few more videos on this because as of making this video, it's around Black Friday 2018. These are on sale for $139 pretty much everywhere. Now it only comes with the remote, not the controller, but you can pair your favorite Bluetooth controller with the Shield. If you're interested in picking one up at that price, I'm going to leave a link to Amazon in the description. So I'm going to be testing out 10 games here. Some of them will be using the Vulkan backend. Some of them will be using the OpenGL backend. But the main thing you need to worry about is the rendering resolution when you're running this on your Shield. Some stuff runs at full speed. 4x resolution which is about 1080p some stuff you need to drop down to 2 so in each one of these games I will have it listed on screen the back end the rendering resolution and if I'm using speed hacks or not a lot of these games ran perfectly with OpenGL and some of them were a little laggy with OpenGL or Vulkan so when we get to those games I'll just talk a little bit about it so with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and get started And let me introduce you to the joys of power sliding. You can use it to corner better around sharp turns. Power sliding also gives you a small speed boost. Pretty nifty, huh? Tap the square button while in a turn to perform a power slide. You betcha! I can take you on if you wish. Shine! Prepare. Repair. Repair. You 
You're mine. You're mine. Ready for the next battle. Round one. Fight. All right, so I do need to talk a little bit about Midnight Club Dub Edition. I've had nothing but issues with it with the newer updates from PPSSPP. In the past, I've never had this issue before, but if you check out the FPS in the top right hand corner, sometimes it's at 30 FPS, sometimes it's at 60, so I'm not sure if this is a bug with the emulator or the game. When it's running smooth, it's running smooth, and that's really all I can say about it. If you go down a little bit more, you're gonna get the same exact performance. I did switch over to Vulcan, but it worked equally as well in OpenGL. So this one's gonna kinda be hit or miss. Now, it could be the version of the game that I'm using. I'm not using the greatest hits version. Not really sure what's going on with it. You can go ahead and give it a try yourself. Wipeout Pure runs really good. Now I'm at 3x here, but it does work at 4x. Only problem is when we get some explosions on screen, it does dip down to about 45. And that happens pretty much all across the board. Even if I'm at 2x, it'll do the same thing. Kill zone. Now this is a really hard game to emulate with the PP SSPP emulator, but as you can see with Vulcan 2x, got the speed hacks on, we get a constant 60 FPS. Once in a while I did notice it dropped down to about 58, but if you had the FPS counter completely off, you'd never notice it.
And finally, the infamous God of War Chains of Olympus. I'm using Vulcan, 2x resolution, got all the speed hacks on, splines are set to low also. If I take the rendering resolution down to 1x, I don't see these dips in performance. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. I've had really nothing but issues with this game on the newer versions of PPSSPP, at least for x86 platforms like Windows. I've noticed that performance is not as great as it was in 1.56. Not sure if that's the case with Android, I haven't gone back and tested it, but you can give it a try if you'd like. So overall, the Shield does handle PSP very well. It also handles GameCube better than I thought. Go ahead and check that video out. Link is in the description. If you're interested in picking one of these up for emulation or just 4K video playback, you will not be disappointed, especially at the $140 mark. It is well worth it. Now, I've had the original Shield since 2015, and it's only been off a total of maybe four days since then. Never had any issues with it and we use it every single day. So it's an awesome little machine. And in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, this is the best Android TV to date. Now, Nvidia has not announced or said anything about releasing a Shield 2, but you never know. Down the road, they could announce it, and that's gonna be awesome. But it's gonna be hard to beat this. They gotta double the performance, or it's just not gonna be worth it. It's really easy to add storage to the Shield. I was actually running all of those games from a Western Digital USB 3.0 2 terabyte hard drive, and it works fine. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.